Hey everybody, this is Tony and I'm here today with a special guest, none other than artist, uh, Mr. Chris Aqua. How you doing today? I'm doing good, man. Doing good, brother. How about you? Good, good. I'm doing all right. I'm making it. <laughs> right, how, right. How has the, this uh, pandemic been treating you? Uh, very good. Very good. Very good. I ain't got nothing to say about it. Uh, you know, I really ain't got too much positive to say about it either. You know, life is what you make it. So, you know, uh, life is it's all about how you respond to things and how I've been responding to it has been very good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, of course, Chris, like I said, you're an artist, a hip hop artist. Um, but for people who don't know you, let's talk about, you know, your your style of music, uh, what it is that you do, uh, that kind of stuff. I did hear the single uh, that you're featured on, uh, the Infinity. Uh, so I did like the single. Uh, of course, you like I said, you're featured on that song. But what inspired you to become a hip hop artist, or would you even call it that, an artist? Period. Okay, okay. Uh, what has inspired me to become um, an artist is pretty much, uh, you know, life itself. Um, you know, when it's in you, it's in you. So you know. Um, I really didn't need too much inspiration. All I needed was an example. Uh, right. And my my primary example would probably be uh, Tupac. And I don't mean in no type of musical format. Uh, okay. I mean, in the sense of um, leadership, what he represented, um, a strong black man, activist, uh, authentic, you know, everything but his actual music. Mm -hmm. um, I love his character, his personality, and you know the things like that, the way he, uh, the, how he spoke and those things. So, when I seen that, that was pretty much the light to my gas. Uh, other than that, I pretty much cultivated myself from that point on. So, um, I really didn't. I just look in the mirror and get inspired. But, uh, <laughs> um, you know, that's pretty much that. You know, my style of music. My style of music is uh. I don't even know how to describe it myself because in this world where, you know, you try to find something to compare yourself to. And um, I've been asking people to compare me to people uh, musically for a long time. Mm -hmm. And all I get is the general thing, which is any conscious rapper. So I can be compared to J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, or any favorite con conscious rapper you have. But at the end of the day, when I take it another level, I'm like, okay, well, what's the similarities? Why did you choose that person? And all I ever get is that I'm conscious and that's the conscious person they listen to. But when right. I'm trying to get like better similarities, like, yo, when I hear J. Cole and I play my song, I don't see what you're talking about. All I is we're awoke. So right. it's like, even with that being said, my style of music is, I don't know how to describe it besides calling it me because I don't know who to reference it to. Mm. And it's not like my... It's not like my music is the most unique music in the world. That's that's furthest from the truth. But um, like I just listened to my album today, and it's like I I don't I haven't heard a rap album, I haven't heard too many rap albums that sound anything like what my music kind of sounds like. But my style, it pretty much just comes from, you know, the moment whatever I'm interested in, and you know my relationship with whatever uh song I'm working on, the topic, you know uh. I could always get deeper on it, but I'm gonna give you that for now. <laughs> okay, okay. So, well, let's well, let's talk about that though, um, somewhat because you know, obviously, it's a lot of people you know that want to be an artist that are artists. You know, so, some of them just wake up and want to be an artist, and it's like you know, let it go. Um, but in your case, that might not be the case. But you know, it's a lot of people now, even uh, uh, more so now, that are are trying to be artists, especially independent. So. You know, what you're saying, you know, you ask people to compare you to artists uh, that are out and they can't really do it. But how do you set yourself apart, you know, as a whole and maintain that? Oh, it's not hard at all. You see somebody like me, like when you say, uh, you know, when you was like artists, like let it go. Like, like a lot of people are trying to be an artist. Like the thing is, it's like, you know, are you trying to be an artist or are you trying to be famous or are you trying to be financially secure? Because at the end of the day, you know, everyone could be an artist. You just got to know what you, what it is you want. And some right. people think they want fame and blah, 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 blah. But, and it's a whole bunch of different definitions of success. Success, But um, that's, I'm going to just share that there. Uh, 
Um, what, what was the question one more time? I said, how do you set yourself uh, apart? Oh, oh, pretty much. oh easy, yeah. easy, easy, easy. Because, <laughs> because it's, it's, it, it takes no effort. It takes okay. no effort. It takes no conscious thought. On an interview I had recently, I told the lady, I don't really listen to music. And she was like, why? Is that to like not affect your music and stuff like that? I'm like, nah, I, I know myself enough to listen to music to where it's not gonna just influence me on that level. Um, pretty much, bro, I just do me. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, and if you listen to MF Doom, that's what he gonna tell you, just do you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when you do you, you can't be imitated. Like, you know, Lil Wayne sparked a lot of artists, but can't nobody be Lil Wayne. Right. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of attempts to do that. It's even been attempts to be a Tupac. Of course. Um, you know, it's another artist I had in my mind that's a good example where people, MF Doom, you could never emulate MF Doom. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, like, like for me, bro, what, what separates me from everybody is my, my thumbprint. Okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and I know that, I know that, you know what I'm saying? So like when I, when I get, when I hear a song, bro, I'm not, I'm not trying to emulate, I'm not trying to sound like nobody. The thing that separates me and my brother, Kenny Runaways from a lot of different people is we can listen to something and not mimic the person, we could just take the aspect that we liked. Right. And embed it into our, cause it's, that's alchemy anyway, you know, that's uh -huh, uh -huh. taking, you know, pieces or whatever. So it's like, that's, that's, that's my answer right there. Yeah. Okay. Now you name some of the things that people, you know, see and, and want to have as an artist or coming up as an artist, like money or fame or whatever the case may be. Is there, you know, a specific thing or goal for you that you look forward to or, or trying to achieve, uh, as a uh, hip hop artist, um, yeah, you know, fine. Well, uh, not solely as a hip hop artist. Um, I don't do music primarily for money. Um, actually, it's other things that I, I would do for money, but um, um, like my my teaching and um, a clothing line. Um, my business called No Litter Mo Glitter. I'm situated in Buffalo, New York. Okay. But um, like. Say the um, question one more time. I just need a word or two. Yeah. Um, well, oh, that's what it was. Kind of. Well, what uh, is there a goal or something that you're looking to achieve uh, as yeah, artists? Yeah, as a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like you know, um, financial freedom. You know, I'm pretty sure my music is gonna um affect that. But yeah. um, my goal musically is pretty much to just get people to think. Okay. I'm a teacher primarily, and that's the reason why I said I don't listen to Tupac primarily because of his music. I listen to Tupac primarily because anybody that has an ear can know that Tupac was not primarily a musician. Correct. He was primarily a real motherfucker. Correct. He was a teacher. He was a leader, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like, my whole goal with my music is to actually bring everybody back, back to a classroom. You know, and if it's not a classroom, it's to bring everybody back to nature. Mm -hmm. So we didn't need to cut the tree down anyway to have these wooden tables that we sit in there. But um, so you know, uh, you know, my 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 goal with music is not like fame, you know, um, not in a traditional sense, um, because in order for anyone to be successful, you need attention. Of course. Of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um you know, it's pretty much to just to be financially free and to be happy, yo, and to and to further like my self expression because my best way to describe my music is not a conscious rapper, it's not a um, it's not um someone that's woke, it's just someone that's expressing their experience they're having on earth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you know, I just want my music and everything to just uh help me be able to do that more to be financially free and to have an avenue where I could teach people and help them become their greatest version. Hopefully that answers your question. Yeah, yeah, it definitely did. Um, I, I appreciate, you know, the insightfulness that you provide though too. Um, even listening to the songs uh, that were provided already, like I said, I, I don't really listen to rap music like now, or, you know, today rap music, I, re I really don't listen to. That's not my, you know, stilo, that's not my thing. But listening to your, you know, song, I was like, okay, cool. Like you and uh, Kenny going back and forth with each other. I was like, okay, this makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So it, it really is uh, uh, something special. It's something there, obviously. Um, but when you create music, is there something special for you about it? Is there a special process that you go through or something that 
uh, happens to cause you to create? Uh, you know, I'm not religious by any means at all. Um, but in a Bible, it says, let there be light. Right. And then there was. So what am I saying? I'm saying that God, whatever that means to anybody, because if you let me explain it, God is an acronym and not a real word. Mm -hmm. And those letters represent three different things, which is generate, operate, destroy, not this image that people would probably think of. But if you let me give an example, I would probably say, um, words, words is the, uh, the building block to life. So for me, when I'm making music, I study words okay. and you know, like, uh, my name is Christopher. So the first six letters of my name is Christ. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not a Jesus fanatic, but whatever Jesus represented was something called Christ consciousness, which is like unity. Right. You know what I'm saying? And unity is like three. You got, uh, you know, uh, God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus. That's three. You got uh, Mother Father, uh, father and then child that's three you got mm -hmm. uh mind body soul three so every uh, if you add up all the letters in my name you get three if you add up my address where i was born at you get three if you add up my birthday and you add all the numbers you get three if you know jesus jesus number was three or 33 mm -hmm. um um so it's like for me it's like to study words, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like that's my thing when it comes with music because words are the building block of life. Like every every word that you speak and every thought you have has the potential to create life. Absolutely. You know, and to create your life. So it's like I, I look at words, like you know, even black. Why is the word lack in black? And if I'm not mistaken, black is a German word. Mm -hmm. So you know, these are not even words that we actually used in older times. These are modern day, modern words. Um like when you look at the word devil, people be like, yo, the devil, crazy word, ha, 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 ha. But when you look at the etymology of the word, it says devil means um adversary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you look at the etymology of the word sin, it says to sin just meant missing the mark. Yeah. If you look at the etymology of the word Lucifer, you know, and that's the whole reason why the first word is Lucy. Um, uh, It says light bearer someone that brings light you know someone who bears light so it's like to me it's just studying the etymology of words and then the universe it says uni one verse song so you know what i'm saying it's like you know um life is a relationship so when i listen to the beat i understand ever since i got this perspective before it was like yo the skateboard wants you to ride the skateboard mm -hmm. i'm like that makes sense the chair wants you to utilize it so I'm like, okay, that means this beat wants me to do something with it. But since, since it has a desire in itself, let me fill out this beat. So, right. you know, it gets me closer to nature. It gets me closer to myself. It gets me closer to you and everybody because anything, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. And like Lauren Hill said, everything is everything. So right. music is no different than how babies are, how babies are born. And it's no different than how universes and planets are created. And it's no different than how we made the pyramid. Yeah, absolutely. So speaking of words, your your name is uh your artist name is Chris Awkward. Uh obviously that wasn't you know name given to you at birth. Uh so what made you come up with that name? What is the last um, name, brother? One of my old closest friends, we don't really talk no more, is a lady. Her name, uh, I'm gonna still give her her just due. Her name is Kia Reynolds. So mm -hmm. there you go. You can't say I ain't give you a shout out. Um <laughs> uh pretty much one day we was talking. And um, I've pretty much been awkward my whole life. But to even make that a little bit more clear, I've made other people feel awkward my whole life because I've always been authentic. Right. So even though I'm the one that's called strange, I'm actually the normal one in this weird ass society we live in. But of um, anyway, anyway, one day we was talking. It was about two, three years I've been trying to come up with a name. And we was just on the phone one day and she was like, Chris, awkward. And I was like, what? She was like, <laughs> I was like, say that again? She was like, Chris Awkward. She was like, yeah, it'll be dope, like blah, blah, blah. And it, it just stuck with me ever since. Um, how I decided to spell it 
was AQ, which is represents the aqua. I am a Pisces. Um, um, I am the water element, but I don't just um settle for one thing. I'm super fiery too. I'm super airy as well because I'm um a, a mental person. But um, mm-hmm. as a Pisces, I have the water element, but I know myself. I'm more than that. So I was like aqua, and then I was like, okay, word. As we already expounded on being a um a wordsmith that I am, mm-hmm. um. That's where the name come from. I do got other aliases. I'm also known as Sage. Um, you know, for uh for good reason, you know. Um, I don't just always got Sage and Palo Santo, <laughs> but you know, I am a sage, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh sage isn't just a plant, it's an herb, but it's also a type of person, like mm. a guru or a mystic or a shaman. And right now in my life, I'm in the sage phase and I will be climbing up the ladder, but um. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not even sure if I answered the question. I'm just in the now, bro, and I'm high, so uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. It's all right. No, but you did answer it, though. It's all right. So talk to me about the uh, album. I heard you talking about the album earlier. So talk to me about that. Uh, when is uh, it coming out, uh, and, and what are, can people expect from it? Uh, are there specific, uh, you know, situations or, or you know, uh, topics that you're dealing with um, or are you just creating with this? Oh, that was dope. Or are you just creating? That's, I like that so much, yo. Are you <laughs> just creating? I like that really hit me. Um, it's kind of a blend of both. Um, well, it's about to, okay. So what's today's date? Um, uh, the it's, going, the first. it's the first, it's going to be released on my birthday, March 19th. Okay. Haha. <laughs> um, my best friend just died, so I know he's on the other side, and I know he's gonna help f- facilitate this to be something big. Yeah. So yeah. um, uh, you know, my music is kind of a little both of what you said. It's it's some stuff that's based on like what I'm, what's going on in the world, mm-hmm. but then it's it's also just me, just like creating off of what's happening in the moment. So um. Um, it's actually going to be two projects I'm dropping. Um, what the world knows of right now is called Chris Awkward. It's going to be a 13 track um, um, little uh, project. Then I'm going to drop another project um, where I could actually make money off because the Chris Awkward project is going to have a whole bunch of beats that's not actually mine. Okay. So um, at the same time, I'm dropping another project that's going to be called the Sage Tape. And that's going to have a whole bunch of original music, about 21 songs. And that's a spiritual reason because two plus one equals three. Mm-hmm. Um, 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 uh, the first Chris Awkward is going to be 13 songs. One plus three equals four. My next project is somehow going to add up to two because it's something called 432 Hertz. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? If you into the, the meditation of music and the frequencies and all that. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I just want that to be my symbolic mark on a, um, on a world to give the, the world 432 Hertz you know spiritual music and uplift the vibrations on the planet but um <laughs> uh my music is pretty much like i got songs about time i got songs about nature mm-hmm. i got songs about meditation i got songs about myself okay i got songs about pro black i got pro spiritual songs mm-hmm. i got songs that will satisfy you on a human level i got songs that's gonna like that requires imagination. Like, you know, this song isn't finished right now and it's not on my project, but you know, I'm making a song about the life cycle of a rock. Mm. How how it came from the volcano, the, the, the molten process. Right. To how it made it to my rock, my pocket. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, some of my songs require you to use imagination. Yeah. Some yeah. of my songs like movies, it requires you to not just think about the context you receive. You gotta fill in the blanks and think beyond and before it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's really, it's it's, it's thought provoking. And it's like, I was just at the studio two days ago, my brother, and I, I swear to God on my life, I could not lie to you. I'm at the studio and there's two engineers that work there. I only record with one of them. Okay. I came in there and one of the other engineers was listening to all of my music. I put this on my life, bro. And we was talking and he was like, yo, bro, um, I'm actually about to give him a consultation probably later today or sometime this week. Um, he was like, yo, bro, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Like, like, like I'm in a, I'm in a loop right now in life. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you got a message in every one of your songs, bro. 
and we was talking about it. So it's like, like that was confirmation for me. Like, yo, like, yo, like it, the music is going to make you better and it's going to make the world better. And it's, it's not, it's not nothing. It's not doodle. It's, it's far from trash. It ain't, it ain't corny. I could talk about meditation and make that shit the most rawest song you ever heard in your mm-hmm. life. Like, like period. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? People uh, really uh, appreciate authenticness and, you know, originality because obviously, you know, it's, it's not a lot of it uh, right now. Everybody wants to sound like somebody or everybody or each other or what they heard last week. Like, you, you know, so that's, that's pretty, uh, a lot of the reason why I say I don't listen to rap music like that because it's not enough originality. And it's like, okay, when is somebody going to say, you know, enough is enough and, and be authentic and real. So I really do appreciate your viewpoint on that kind of stuff and just listening to how you think and, and, and you know, uh, process different things. Uh, obviously all of us weren't put here to be like each other. Uh, obviously we're supposed to be different. Uh, and I think sometimes people forget that, but that's why, you know, Lauren was ahead of her time in, in what she was doing because she was talking about different things that people didn't understand or, you know, they didn't think about what she said because they didn't get it. So I, I totally understand where you're coming from. Um, as far as earlier though, we talked about, you, you know, you being compared to other artists and things like that. Do you ever fear um getting put in a box at some point or even now oh nah 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 because you can't put me in a box you could put me in a box in your own mind Mm -hmm. but i know myself and i know how thoughts work enough that that shit would never that would never affect me okay okay. you know it it, it has no power yeah you know it might affect somebody else it might affect somebody else who don't you know it's like i I can't like, okay, it's like, okay, okay. The one thing about me, bro, on social media is I've already thrown all my secrets out there in the world. I've Mm -hmm. already told you my struggles as a father. I've already told you that I've had an issue with masturbation and how that affected me. I've already told you this, this, and that, and that, and that. So I'm not that battle rapper that you can do research on me. my, My life is how like Eminem did the last battle rap on 8 Mile. Right. What you gonna say? Mm-hmm. I already said it already, bro. You can't, you can't hurt me. You can't do that to me. Yeah. Like, 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 I'm not, I'm not even on your, I'm not even in your lane for you to even put <laughs> me in a box. Like, like, so it's like that, that it don't work over here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, you know, a lot of times uh, artists like yourself, they'll get put in, in, in st- stuff like that. So that's why I ask because, you know, just like they say, oh, you're a conscious rapper or, oh, you are, you know, this kind of rapper. But it's like, no, I just want to be a rapper or if that's what I want to be. Or I just want to be an artist, period. I just want to create. Um, so I know sometimes that that bothers people, but obviously for you, it won't bother you because you already know who you are, um, which is definitely a good thing. So but how did you and uh, DJ J. Erica get uh, connected with each other? Um, we, we, uh, <laughs> we both from the same um, the same city and um uh i guess she kind of like like since my spirit and um because i guess she wasn't really working too many artists from the town mm-hmm. and, um i just i feel like she just sensed my spirit and um i think it's a spiritual thing that we doing and um like griselda is doing what they supposed to do but i had a vision when i i had a vision like 10 years ago bro of what was going to happen in my life and uh dj erica has kind of helped facilitate helping me facilitate that vision and um we, we just connected with like minds, you know, um, she liked the music, she liked the video, she liked the image, she liked the neo soul, the, the consciousness, the pro black, the, you know, um, not no negative connotations with the music. So I, I guess we just trying to um, bring more light to the city, bring more light to ourselves predominantly and, um, and just try to foster a good relationship, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, obviously if yeah. people didn't know though, you obviously from uh, Buffalo, New York, um so just so it's known um but does does that uh growing up in new york does that have an effect uh on your music at all uh yeah this isn't weed just for what it's worth this is uh (laughs) this is a collect a collection of herbs no marijuana in here like actually anybody could smoke it unless you're pregnant it's not recommended um it actually helps open up your third helps open up your third eye but Mm. um uh say the last question just say one more word of it yeah, yeah. Did new did growing up in New York uh oh, affect you? Okay, okay. Uh hell yes. <laughs> like like my city, 
my city is kind of like uh selfish like like the hate mm. that we have towards each other is crazy real we're super segregated like 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 we're super 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 segregated but uh somebody like me sees the bigger picture so um it's all like this for a reason like you know um we're we're, we're coming into the golden age and the golden age is when you know where people start communicating and coming together so you know um it's it's always the segregation is beautiful on a higher level but um yes my city definitely affected my music and me on a whole big level uh you know the racism you yeah. know what i'm saying the racism from white people is real um the self-hate with black people is real like mm -hmm. i got a business called no litter mo glitter Mm -hmm. um, rest in peace, my brother. Um, uh, we go in the neighborhood and we clean up the neighborhood. And like, I've seen people with my own eyes after we've cleaned up a whole street. And I mean it, I mean sparkling clean. Niggas that throw bottles out on the ground. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's, 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 uh, I've seen people go in white people neighborhoods and not litter. And I've right. had this conversation with a lot of people and they say, bro, it's, it's, it's already on the ground. I'm not even really adding to it, bro. It's like, bro, your psychology is messed up. Um, the fact that we expect white people to come in our neighborhood and clean what we're disposing. Um, my, my city has affected me like, 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 uh, on a, on a crazy level. Um, uh, one of my previous um interviews, someone asked me about like like uh do you feel people should be honored and like rewarded and stuff like that? And you know, mm. I I think I should be rewarded and honored for who I am because in my own city alone, I took the time out of my life for like a year to try to help women that was unmolested. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, a lot of my brothers was like, yo, man, I give you props, but why would you do that, bro? It's like, yo, because just like you, I like a freak in the street. I mean, I like a freak in the bed. And one mm -hmm. thing I'm not a fool about, bro, is a lot of these freaks was molested, bro. Why you right. think they so freaky? So I can't be benefit. I can't, I can't live my life enjoying the product and then being mad about all, all the, and then, and then break up with her because of the dysfunction stuff. Mm -hmm. But, but I, I want and but stay with her because it's so good. I, I, I just, my, my, um, it's not too many people like me in my city and I love my city though. I love my city just like I love the world. And, um, it has affected me and it has, it's affected me in more positive ways, but only because I transformed the negativity to something higher. It's affected a lot of people like my brother. That's why he, uh, that's why he's not here no more. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I definitely, uh, understand that, uh, sometimes people don't, I think it, it's just a uh, something that's put inside of us uh, when you when you get here, and sometimes people can't understand or get on the wave or whatever you want to call it because it's just not in them. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of things you you might try to explain, you can't really explain, or even if you can explain it, they won't get it. You know, so and I I learned that kind of thing myself because it's just like they don't see the vision. They don't see a, a lot of things it, because it's, it's almost like they, they're on a different level. I just put it like that. So when you explain this stuff, it's almost like astronomical to them that you would even say something like this, or you would even think this way, or, you know, feel like you can do this or that or whatever the case may be. So, I mean, I definitely understand that. Like I said, I, I, I've seen it happen. I know it happens. Um, I think that's a creative thing. I, I really do. Uh, just because people like-minded people that I've been around it normally is are the people that you know end up in that kind of situation but it's it's almost like if somebody else say the sky is blue but you say it's red it's almost like you you just lost your mind completely like so I, I get it you know what I'm saying I totally get it I totally get it <laughs> that was funny brother that was funny Look, I, hey I'm just telling, but I, I I seen it happen though, so I, I know it's real, uh, obviously. But uh, you know, I, I really uh, appreciate the fact that you stand in what you believe in, uh, and, and that you you choose to go on your own path and your own lane, and not try to follow what somebody else wants you to do or 
uh, feel like you should do. So I, I really respect that honestly a lot because everybody is not willing to do that now. Everybody is almost like, well, what do you want me to do that will help make me successful or help me be like this person? Or I, I want what they have, so you give me that formula. Like, no. Oh, 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 I'm actually writing a song about something like this. Wow, that's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. I'm writing it right now. That's crazy. Wow. 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 See, you know, see what I'm saying? The second you said it, I'm like, that's kind of what the song is about, or at least what the hook implies. But yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Okay. It happens though. <laughs> mm. But besides the uh, besides the album uh, or the, the two projects that you're working on, is there anything else we're looking forward to? Oh yeah, you looking to you looking forward to a whole lot with me, uh, you know. And no way am I trying to actually change the world because there's a billion people in it, and I, I don't have that to do. But like 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 I'm going to make a change in the world. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, like 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 first of all, I'm a teacher, people. So what do I teach? I teach a lot of things. I, I can educate you on your chakra system, how to work through your chakras. Uh, I, I, I teach a lot of men on sexuality and masculinity and manhood, your sperm, your seed. Yeah, I teach a lot of men a lot of things about just like being a man and all of that. Uh, changing your definition of what a man is, because I think a lot of our definitions of manhood is kind of like uh, really messed up. Yeah. Um, you know, I teach about the mind, yo, like, and like, that's, that's nothing I could just give one example of, but mm -hmm. the mind is so vast, I could teach you why you think your thoughts, the way you think your thoughts, what our thoughts, where our thoughts at, uh, like, you know, how to tell the difference between thinking a thought and receiving a thought, which is important information to know, um, how to break a habit, how to create a new habit, Oh, uh, you know, like, 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 I could teach you, I could educate you and update you on what love is, what happiness is, what self love is really about, because people think selfishness is a negative thing. It has a negative outlook on it, but it's not. No. Um, you know, I could, I could t just tell you about, you know, the power of your emotions, um, uh, help you and aid you in, in meditation, give you tips and tricks for meditating, uh, visualization tips. Uh, teach you um, about how powerful imagination is. If you need anything, Einstein already told you that imagination is way more and way more powerful and important than intellect. Mm -hmm. uh, and we live in a world where you know people want to ask you, especially white people. Uh, no disrespect. What's your IQ? I'm just going off my experience. I've had at least seven white people try to come at me and be like, "Yo, bro, what, what was your? I took an IQ test. Here, look here, here the score. I'm like, bro, I don't care about your IQ test, bro. Like, <laughs> like, bro." you're insulting me right, right now but um you know and um you know so uh them is i'm a teacher so you know um you want to hit me up on on uh my social media to see what my services is my social media um one of my i'm, I'm gonna give you three facebook pages people it might be a lot but it's necessary i'm almost at five thousand on two accounts and people be like yo i can't send you a request so i gotta keep making new pages mm -hmm. uh my first primary page is Christopher Spit Them Bars Walker. Spit Them Bars is S P I T, as you know it, mm -hmm. D E M B A R S, no spaces. And then you got Chris Spit Them Bars Walker. You already know how to spell Spit Them Bars. And then you got Chris Awkward. Now, uh, my name is already on this um, Zoom. So, but I'm going to spell it again Chris, as you know it. And then it's A Q K W O R D. So that's Chris Awkward. Them are my three Facebook pages. You could contact me, inbox me for my services. You could also find me on Instagram, which is Chris Awkward. You know how to spell it. You can find me on two YouTube platforms. One, I have a lot of old spiritual videos. You could find that channel by typing Life is What You Make It. If you need help finding that channel, type taking a spiritual s-h-i-t so that's life is what you make it taking a spiritual s-h-i-t is tons of videos on there on tons of different things you can find my music uh youtube page at chris awkward if that's hard finding just type chris awkward and type my single with me and my brother's single called infinity you know and um 
you know, uh, we will, we, we have the name for the clothing line. We uh, get in the image. Um, we got a whole bunch of ideas already. So that's unfolding. I do got a business in my city where it's only relevant for people in my city, which is called No Litter, Mo Glitter. We, we clean anything, cars, neighborhoods, and anything you could think of, but I'm going to leave it there. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I do abstract photography. So, you know, you can go on my Instagram and you can see whatever to- photography that I have uploaded thus far. And if you're interested, you could pay for anything or I could try to uh, create something for you. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I'm going to end it right here. Anything can happen with your mind. So, you know what I'm saying? Just, just look forward to me being a content creator. You know, on Instagram, I'm dropping videos every day on uh, no fapping on how to help men um, become conscious of their their um, masculinity and to stop masturbating in an unhealthy way and to stop releasing their sperm and seed. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm always educating people in there. And I know that's a world uh, struggle with my fellas out there and even the women. So find me on Instagram. Um, hit me up if you want a direct session or one on one consultation consultation. And um, I guess I'm gonna leave it there, my brother. OK. And just before you go, uh, I, I know you mentioned the Facebook pages already. So let everybody know what your uh, other uh, social media handles is, uh, the Instagram, if you got Twitter or anything else. So, yeah, it's just one more time. You know, we got the three Facebook pages. And once again, my Instagram is Chris Awkward, as you already know, um, Chris, C-H-R-I-S, Awkward, A-Q-K-W-O-R-D. That's Chris Awkward. Um and I don't think there's any more platforms you need to be aware of right now, you know, but definitely if you're trying to get your mind right, people, we are in a golden age and we're in the age of technology. This is the age where you shouldn't, you don't, you don't have the luxury to say you don't know. Hmm. Okay. We're in the time where you don't have the luxury to say you don't know. You can't say it no more. It, you, you don't have no excuses. You don't have no sympathy. It's all on you. So if you're trying to learn something, if you're trying to be directed somewhere where I don't know how to help you, which, which is like with uh, astro traveling, I can't do that. But I can help you decode your dreams, though. Listen, get with me. You know, <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. All right. Sound good. And, and before you go, Chris, just let everybody know once again when the uh, projects are dropping. March 19th, my birthday this year, 2021, my project will be dropping. If not both of them, one will be dropping. Um, Chris Opera will probably be dropping today, but since I'm adding an additional project to it, it's, it's you know taking a little bit longer. But March 19th, look me up on any platform. You're going to find whatever I'm releasing to the world. Okay, sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, this is none other than Mr. Chris Awkward. Thank you so much, Chris. I enjoyed you, man. Peace. All right. Thank you. No problem.